Hey guys, and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included. We are, of course, playing in Lenovo Del Morte, where we have a few issues. Most of my issues revolve around the fact that this is the only farm that I've got running here, and these bristle blossoms at the top, they're kind of a bit fickle about whether they want to work or not, and the reason they're a bit fickle is because I'm trying to warm up this particular patch of water here to kill the germs in it. That means there's not that much of a gradient here, so it's not pulling out as much heat. Whew. Okay, that was a lot of words there. So, which means once those, uh, once these germs have died, we can part, start pumping all the heat back up here. Oh, look, this is nearly full here. We can destroy this bottle emptier once it has uh, done with its business. Let's turn that off. Okay, yeah, that's cool like that. Let's uh, destruct or de deconstruct. Either way you want to do it. And then I'm going to get an insulated tile, obviously at the... Uh, the uh, granite no it's sedimentary that that was already on granite and then we'll just seal all that off a okay we've also got a few things are working away up here and i think i might actually just leave them to run i say that as i uh, immediately start queuing up some more jobs because this is one of the areas where i think we can get another bit of farm work underway we've got just a straight down uh, run down the ladder here to get to the kitchen so that kind of seems like a good thing for me let's get the old g9 out. Hopefully people are now going to start working on this area over here. You can see we've got some sevens all queued up. Uh, mostly I have gone around and taken the nines out of commission. In fact, I'm going to go around finding things like doors and this tomb here to try and knock it back down. Even even these uh, farms only really need to be on a six, just so they're a little bit more important than some of the other things we're dealing with here. Like, look at this. Is, th is this really necessary to be on a nine? Well, actually, honestly, at the moment it is, uh, because we're also powering our water via this system. Now, ideally, I would have liked this to be on a system all on its own. Actually, maybe on this system here, we could just carry on all the way up and power it like that. But right now, this needs to be powered... Uh, for this to work, which is a little bit of a shame because if we had had it set up like this little uh, block of stuff over here, which I am actually going to now wire up quickly, if we had this wired like this, this is actually a self-sustaining unit here, uh, so that's pretty cool. In fact, gives over a little bit of power extra. If there was a way of letting it leak out the power, I think there might actually be a way if we have like some shunts or something. Is there, is there anything that we can use here? Let's have a look down in the power. There's got to be like some one-way systems there's a heavy watt join uh, plates that's not quite what i want but it's something like that that is one way that we could then go from here into a battery and then the battery can go into the major grid i mean that would be great right that would be great if that was a thing we could do unfortunately the power transformers i believe have to go from solid is there a way to double check that uh, from heavy to to small wires i'm not sure if there is a way of checking that this as well i'm just going to disable this it really need, i need to stop I need to stop people going in there. That That's a must there. Uh, another thing I want to do is fully explore this cold biome here. I, th I think we fully have explored it, and I think that we don't have a Weezwort there. Uh, and uh, worse than that, we don't have one of those hydrogen entropy-destroying devices, which would be helpful for dealing with, I don't know, such things like heat. But with that in mind, I'm going to come down here. We're going to pop this ladder like so. A little bit of a, little bit of a mishap there. Let's let's get rid of those and then G our way across there. Now this is all on five, so that's going to take a little while to do. Same way that this is going to take a little while to do. What are they all off doing now? What are they all off doing now? Okay, here we go. They are actually building this up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait a few minutes for all this to get dug out. I will then probably just go ahead and fill it with. In fact, let's let's go and do this now. Fill it with planter boxes from here to here. Yeah, plant, plant the boxes from there to there. I'm even going to go ahead and put a, a door on to deal with the fact that they give out negative decor. I, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Okay, so if they're working on a seven there... I'm just going to bump those up for an eight because they're all like one-time jobs. They will disappear as they get done, hopefully, maybe. And I'd like to get the food done before we actually move on to getting the oxygen. Because whilst, you know, we're not really... Whilst we've got up, got on top of the oxygen, we, we're not really desperately in need of it. Oh, look at that beautiful hydrogen situation there. Lovely, lovely. Uh, this might end up being a bit of a problem. I might have to disable this guy uh, before it fills up with hydrogen. Yeah, that's going to be a thing to think about. But look, they're already doing it. They are already doing it. If we now go uh, Millwood Seed Plant and then copy the settings all the way across, that should do us a nice, nice bit of farm work. What's going on with our boy Cassio over here? He's just um, 
got himself in a bit of a loop. He's not even being able to finish. It says it's an unreachable dig. I don't I don't think it is. I think he's right there, able to do stuff. And he's now complaining about food. I bet he's going to need to pee at some point as well. Uh, let's put these in here like this. That could lead to a little bit of trouble like that. A bit of a parving nightmare in that place but i think we'll be okay Are these guys really not coming along to do some stuff here yeah sandstone going down that's cool now hopefully he's gonna be all right when that gets built but no he's yeah there we go there we go I, I knew i knew we'd get there eventually i knew we'd get there eventually just need to work at it properly oh we got a bit of a problem here we got tarkin going along and do the cooking that's no good because someone can we sort it this way yeah by cook skill nice uh someone shouldn't be cooking uh, tarkin shouldn't be cooking a jar jar jaru shouldn't be cooking um these two these should definitely be cooking. we need a better name for chef two chef two I, I i don't know many imperial culinary staff though that's that's the problem as i have explained a few times in the past Okay, I've just noticed people are starting to eat the mushroom. We've got a fried mushroom, and I don't want them to eat the regular mushroom. There's also something else, like fungal spores, that I don't want them to kick, uh, eat. Let's just go back and double check. Now, that should all be fine. Uh, th this was the thing that, that drew my attention to it. There's this fungal spore just kicking here, and I didn't want to eat. Don't want them to eat that. I want them to eat, like, fried mushrooms or whatever. Uh, but it looks, it looks good. looks good. Okay, let's leave that running now, and hopefully that will get, like tidied away somewhere does it can this make a fried mushroom it can make a fried mushroom let's let's clear that I keep i keep right clicking that right clicking seems to be the one uh, to cancel in my brain uh, which is wrong because that's not how it works all right all the building work finally getting complete in the new farm section here uh this should supply one two three four maybe five new duplicates we should be able to keep five new dupes on the go so that's pretty good we could we've got enough room for two more who's up here um Conti, Will of Tarkin, Orson Krennic. We're missing Fermius Piet, aren't we? That's definitely a name we need to put out. I might just call him Piet rather than having the full name here. Divers, Lungs and Yokel. I, I, well, we could definitely deal with that. Iron Gut, Uncultured. Not feeling the bottomless stomach. Food is a problem. Uh, interior Decorator and Fletcher. We're gonna we're gonna go for old nails here. We're gonna call them yet is that is that written correctly hang about i need to uh check my spellings good job i checked that no i got it wrong there we go print out a new friend all right yeah cool uh what else needs to be done here well at the moment we're just waiting waiting for this uh, i know what i'm missing from this call i've just been looking at it going how do i stop the hydrogen flooding out when it's already in there or the oxygen being pumped out when there's not enough hydrogen but of course the way we do that is with an atmospheric sensor and in fact i'm going to put it or oh, which side of the door do we want it because obviously it's a lighter gas so it goes up and let we'll go over this side yes indeed and then we should be able to get a little bit of wire here to go down and across and that should make a nice little automated system for me i, kn I knew there was something missing and that was it so i think before they finish building here i just kind of want to sweep up at highest priority let's get all that stuff out of there before it uh, starts filling up with gas obviously as they dig all that out though it's gonna add up maybe, maybe i've made a mistake here but we'll wait and see we will wait and see no there is of course one other thing i've forgotten about here and that is fresh water we're gonna just put it across like this uh, i'm gonna go all the way across we're gonna go up here and into these two like this that should be pretty cool i think pretty cool it's just gonna fall down and ruin my day looks like it is so let's do a g9 there and a g9 there that should help also maybe select that one preemptively there so we can uh, make sure it doesn't ruin our day at a later date it will anyway we, we all know it's going to it's some point but this should now be a fairly complete system let's uh let's get a bit more priority on these water pipes again single single shot jobs that will be done when they're done will be the priorities will be taken away when they're done i've just noticed piet's got these uh pretty cool purple flecks through through their hair that's that's awesome Okay, they're starting to put on all these millwoods in here. That must mean they're up to a priority six jobs. Let's uh, come out here and have a look. Yes, indeed they are, which will mean they'll start working on this bit. And if I actually do a little bit of priority hacking here, we can make this a thing. Oh, look, there's stuff buried underneath these things maybe maybe we can go and have a look and see what they are maybe it's all sleep wheat maybe not yeah there's sleep wheat under there let's have a look where else do we have sleep wheat was that was that that no there's another one down here that is sleep wheat i've got to I've just got to have a look and see if any of them are wheezy wheeze what no don't look like they are oh wow this one 1300 kilograms this one 5.2 tons wow that's 
That's going to take a little while to clear out there. Just a little while. Oh, they've come to work in the cold biome. Let's see if they're going to push across. This is unreachable. Uh, is it because of that? Okay, yeah, that that's cool. Now, the problem is people are going to have to come all the way from over here, whatever it is they're doing, as each individual bit gets exposed. That, that's a little bit annoying. Uh, what priority have I put these on? Okay, so let's go for a six on the dig and go either side as well because that should allow people to carry on digging up even when the ladder has not been built so that lots of duplicates should be working at this at the same time that that's my hope here that is my hope oh. hmm not the best place for this we found a natural gas geyser which I believe is good that means we can set up a new power plant over this side uh, to run whatever it is we're going to do in this uh, cold biome maybe this will be where I make all my oxygen it's not as if I'm uh worried about destroying a crop or anything like that man yeah that that's a good thing over there so we can make make a power plant much in the same way that we make one over here we use let's let's see if i've got it open yet no we don't this natural gas generator it turns natural gas into a variety of other things including power um so that would be pretty good do we want to start them working on this i think we're going to start them working on this there was something else i really wanted to start on yeah indeed this algae distiller in fact i might do the algae distiller first and then we'll do the fossil fuels because we could set up an algae distillery over here start digging all this lot down because i believe yeah we're, we're starting to run a little bit low on algae just a little bit just a little i mean we, we have got bits like this to to be played with let's have a look no slime lung there so that's pretty good any slime lung at all over here we got a tiny tiny bit down there i wonder what that what the deal with that is whether this has all been like bleached out by the natural gas or something like that I don't know. I don't know. Uh, we're probably not going to get round to making the generator today, but we will get round to making it at some point. It's one on the list to do. Hmm. I was about to go off on a, on a full talk about how I think this is probably the final form of this idea, but I'm looking at it and only one of them ever seems to be the one that kicks out. You can see they're both max gas pressure, but when this oxygen gets used, yeah, look, only this one is the one that, that ticks over. So maybe all we want in there is just a single uh, a deoxygen, no, electrolyzer, deoxidizers or something else. Uh, then we could just let all that go over this way. Now I'm having a look here and trying to find out how much hydrogen is on the go. The fact that we've got this oxygen barrier here kind of makes me want to walk someone in and let the hydrogen flow around a little bit more. Let's see who we've got to play with here. Mr. Tarkin, what are you up to? Are you going to go eat? Yeah, okay. Well, do, do your eating first. Once you've done that, I'd like you to move. Let's wait for you to finish chewing and move off, if you could, please. Any second now, you're going to do it. Man, it takes them a while to eat, doesn't it? takes them a real while to eat. Okay, go. Come back over here. Let's have a look at the hydrogen. Let's slow this down a little bit because maybe we're going to actually end up getting Tarkin going back and forth a few times. A little bit of hydrogen spill there. Not particularly bothered. Uh, can we just, like, hold that open somehow so that the, the fumes can go back and forth? Maybe we want to hold this open for a little while until, until it fills. Yeah, I'm going to put that up a priority now. Maybe Tarkin will turn around and do it straight away. No, okay. Well, it was worth, worth checking. All these people coming along to do the dig up this way. We'll find out what's in these as well. We will find out what's in those as well. Okay, I think it might be time to try and kickstart this process. You can see we've got up to like two kilograms of hydrogen in some places there. So let, let's do this. Let's do this. Let's try and get this closed off. We're going to take a little bit of element damage as we pump this first bit out here. But then it should just be pure hydrogen from there on. So let's... Uh, take this up uh, we want to go above and i'm just going to click it all the way up to begin with and we'll pull it back down current pressure is only 200 grams what how's that working how is that working let's let that empty out there let's press the f7 watch the hydrogen uh, the oxygen move uh it's pretty pretty powerful pretty powerful i'm, I'm actually going to go like this and just just pump all that stuff out until we start seeing some hydrogen move uh if we could there we go that's what we want right there that is what we want right there. Let's have a look at the, the system here. Right, full of oxygen. Cool. I've got a feeling that I want this up around 1,300 grams. Actually, I think I'd like to do more because we've got a, a 
a pressure of 1600 down here and I don't want this backflowing. That, that is my big issue is that the pressure underneath will push the oxygen up and over and then we're in all sorts of trouble. But what we actually really need to be doing is watching this hydrogen line here. If the hydrogen line starts dropping down, we pull this a bit further down. If the hydrogen line is getting close to being up the top, we push it up further. Oh, look at this. Oh, it's beautiful. That's exactly what I want. We're going to come in there with the ladder. We're going to go with a seven. We're going to go all the way up. I need that wheeze wart. That, that hopefully will help the, the chilling that's going on over here. Oh, look, we've got a little bit of igneous rock here. How would... Where are you coming from? Where are you coming from? I'm fairly sure I just did a sweep that tidied up all of that. Oh, look at these here. I wonder if these guys can actually go and get them or not. I'll leave that like that and see what happens. Did we, did we have the research? No research No research selected. I'm sure I selected some research. What What shall we select? We'll go for the... Oh, did I do it? Ah, oh, the distillation happened. I did not hear the little jingle kick off there. So we'll, we'll do that and uh, get ourselves set for for uh, natural gas power generation. Oh no, someone's got, them, got themselves hypothermia. Uh, that's a little bit of a problem, but I'm not overly bothered. Mainly it was because they keep walking through all this disgusting polluted oxygen. Maybe, uh, not polluted oxygen, polluted water. Maybe if we went ahead and did a mop, we could clear this up. I've got a feeling I'm just going to be wasting my guys' times though. Uh, but we are getting super, super close to going up there. And I've got to say, today's episode is probably going to end up being more tidying up loose ends than actually getting new projects started as you can see we like we've got this nice new oxygen system here but you've seen these oxygen systems before and I, the question i've got for you guys is do you want to see me going around tidying up things finding little exploration points and stuff like that but just i mean to me it kind of feels like that we haven't done anything substantial even though i've spent half an hour going around and making sure that all my duplicates will live uh, so i'm not sure how to deal with that Let, so i would like your guys feedback do, do you like what's going on here do you not like what's going on here do you like to see the minutia that's that's really the question do you like to see the small details like putting a floor across here and grabbing another floor there so that people can come along and do this when like we want to submit a bioscan here uh, and I'd also like to submit a bioscan there but I think that's going to take a little bit of time to get over in fact if we now or oh, this is going to make polluted water drop down everywhere but hopefully we can make some more polluted ice at some point that that'd be pretty cool going to put some sandstone in places uh tug definitely doing the job definitely doing the job water drips though water drips Wow, water is more than dripping. But if I have a look here, you can see there are no germs to worry about. So that's pretty cool. But ugh, look at look at this. Just look at this. Uh, am I going to be able to, like, tidy? Oh, gosh, no. No, we're not. Uh, G9. Let's just try and take out this nice little area here. And hopefully we'll be able to get back one, two. Oh, I've noticed some problems with that. Actually, let's just cancel this one. And that should solve all those problems. But uh, night time. It's the worst part of this game. It really is. Oh, look, we're at half battery and we're about to tip over the point. In fact, are we, are we like super close or are we just sort of close? We are super close. Let's see if the amount of ox uh, hydrogen that gets pumped through, though this is the first one, so it might not be enough, is enough to refill that battery. So here comes the hydrogen. It's going up into the generator. Watching that refill. Oh, man, it's it's going to go. It's, it's going to fill. It's, it's going to super, super fill, isn't it? Look at this. I don't know what the main, what the... the topping up point of the battery is oh i didn't quite make it didn't quite make it is it going to be enough though uh let's click over here it's going to take take a little while to do this again but we'll come back and see if it actually tops hits the top at any point i've not seen it empty out and i've not seen any reason for people i'm going to drop this down to a one if it dies then we know we need people if it doesn't ooh, hypothermia if it doesn't die then we know then we know that it can self-sustain and that's what we're after right self-sustaining uh how is these guys doing so so i'm going to Submit a bio scan. Anybody? We've got, we've got, we've got loads of stuff here to do. If so, if someone wants to come along and do this, that would be great. Uh, just got a little bit. Look how this this uh, this coal biome definitely expands out. I didn't quite realise there was going to be quite so much to it. Look at all this. This is all unexplored terrain here. That's that's amazing. It's amazing. How much of this have we got left to do? I mean, it's a fair bit, but most of it is now ex 
exposed so that should be okay as long as people can keep coming back and forth how is the uh, the digging process going here not very well because of the lack of ladders let's go with that uh look down and across like this that that should help oh people aren't looking good are you getting exposed to stuff let's have a look no surface germs but what about your inside oh that's hypothermia all right Pierre. what about this what is this this is a snazzy suit increases decor and small area effect around the what uh insulation thickness two and a half uh, sorry quarter of a centimeter decor uh let's give you where, uh who was this with piet let's give it to piet uh and tarkin also wants what no am i not allowed to do that maybe if we do it forward in time no can't do that okay how about maybe tarkin's jealous no i don't know what's missing here Oh man, everybody's gone and got themselves a case of hypothermia. That's a little bit of a shame, but people should be able to sort themselves out. Unfortunately, that now means we are one person. Oh, Tarkin went and got it. Okay, cool. That, that's pretty cool. So who else? Krennic needs one. That, that's a must. That is a must. How are we doing up here? Still taking time. Okay, as we've got three people laden up here, I think it's time to bring a new person. Uh, none of them are ginger. That's a little bit of a shame. Grease monkey, noodle arms, quick learner, narcoleptic, amphibious with trifold. Let's go with you. Uh, oh, well, it's a meep, but we're not going to go with a meep. We're going to go with a hux. Uh, this is the ginger general out of the new Star Wars movies. He's the guy who gets absolutely thrashed by uh, Kylo Ren on quite a few occasions. So, I will bring him in. I'm, I'm a little bit uh, dubious about bringing in the big boys, Vader, uh, Ren, people like this. I, it, I feel like, mm, I don't know, I don't feel they can be evil enough around here. Like, Imperial officers, they're just, like, doing their, their bureaucratic duty, yeah? But the the sith lords they, they were they were like proper bad guys i suppose tarkin was also a proper bad guy i mean that's that's a bit of a weak statement that i just made there oh yes uproot that on a nine if you can guys someone anybody someone's got to get to it someone's really got to get to it i'm also going to put these on a seven just so they can get done and people come along and do some digs there krennic gonna come along and do my job hopefully no i mean he is doing that but that that's fine uh doing the ladder i suppose is the word that i'm looking for there Who, who's gonna do the dig Who's gonna do the dig? No, that's that's not the man there. Hux, Hux, you, for your first proper job, are you gonna come along and? Oh uh, no, you're, you're too slow. That's your problem there. You're just too slow. Uh, but Motti, possibly a person able to do the job here. No, Hux is off. He's like, oh, someone's taking my job. It's it's not a thing that I can do. This should be on a nine. So I was kind of hoping that people come along and do it quickly. I mean, like those are on an eight. Ah uh, ha 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 ha! Here we go. The weeds water is gonna be taken down. Awesome. Right, I'm gonna pause it now. Gonna come over here. We're gonna go. You weaselwort plant, and I really do mean top, top, top priority there. Uh, I don't know who's gonna come along and get it, but I am gonna watch this here. Can we actually like watch the the weaselwort seed? Is that a thing that I can be doing? It doesn't look like it. I can, but it does look like someone's coming along to do the job here. Indeed. Let's uh, let's follow good old Casio here. Where's he gonna go? He, he, well, we know where he's going. He is gonna take this all the way across, but is is anything gonna happen on the way to interrupt him? That is something that quite that happens quite often. Maybe night will happen, or they decide they need the toilet, maybe like food uh, overrides. If you don't want that to happen, you do of course have red alerts, and, which means that they ignore everything other than the jobs that you have given them. Okay, let's stop this. Now, obviously, it's gonna take... Oh, look, what's this? It's gonna take a little bit of time to be able to chill this down properly but already i can see the improvement we've gone from 50 to 40 uh pretty not pretty nicely there and this should hopefully have a similar process now are these all sweeping up this appears to be pushing sideways like that and i'm not sure if that's the flow that i want though there is definitely it's, it's this curl down here all the curl that happens down there is a-okay with me we've still got the 50s down here but there is definitely a pull through scenario going on that's cool that's cool Maybe we want to do something about this tile here, though it is insulating the heat quite well. Maybe these tiles. Maybe all these tiles. Oh yeah, look at that. The water is slowly dropping in temperature. We're down to 42 at the moment. It was at like 50 odd, uh, which means that it should now be leave... Uh, what? We're out of power. Uh, it's this bit here. We definitely need to get that onto this system. I'm wondering if we could put a power transformer. Let's do this. What, what is the power output from this? Uh, it's going to be pretty heat. Five watts. Okay, that's, that's something we can live with. Uh, if I... 
remove all this stuff here. I think that's the best way that this is going to work. We'll remove all these items. Uh, we can start thinking about where the power is going to go. Speaking of, I want a heavy watt join plate round this way. Now, obviously, the power is going to come up here, but I don't want it to, to enter there. We'll do it there instead. I wonder if the, the line going out that way actually, like, through the heavy watt joint plate, if I ever look here, I wonder if that's a, a doable thing or not. Uh, that also feels like it's in the wrong place totally feels like it's in the wrong place the reason being is i want to put this here uh oh what, what did i do i pressed the, i pressed a button and it didn't do what i thought it did uh i obviously misclicked and something else happened so that goes there like that then we have a power transformer the reason i swapped it round is because i want it to go that way a little bit of heavy watt wire if we've got it heavy watt wire going up like that and then let's bring this bad boy down here across and join up with that lot like that that should work for me ladder going up this way and then we'll think about how we can make everything contained at some point uh p7 Favourite favorite priority for these sorts of jobs, like that, should get stuff done A-OK. -okay. And whilst I'm thinking about it, has anybody actually come and presented themselves here? No, current state locked. Submit a bioscan. I don't know if anybody's actually going to do that, but I would like it to happen. Was that the night time? Oh, that was daytime. Was I building stuff all the way through the night? Oh, that's pretty cool, though. That's pretty cool. Awesome Krennic having a little bit of an extra oversleep there. That's fine. What's going on with the med beds? Why are they not full? People should be all in there. Let's have a look at the vitals. Anyone got hypothermia at the moment? It doesn't actually tell me, does it? Um, Hux, looking good. Looking good. Stress. Oh, that's stress there. Immune system's good. Yeah, everything looks to be A-OK. -okay. A-OK-OK. Oh, I've just noticed Hux is doing a cooking job. I don't, I'm not sure if that's what we want him to do. Let's come down here. Uh, Piet, you don't want to do that. I mean, oh, he's all right, actually. He's all right. Let's leave him to that. Let's leave him to that. What else do we want done? Let's check the art. Do we have any artists at all? We still don't have an artist. Should we just nominate someone as an artist and, like, let them practice their skills? That will involve ripping down and picking stuff back up all over the shop. Uh, I'm not sure if that is what I want to do. Uh, I, what I do want to do, though, is destroy all that. If that could happen, that would be great. We're going to have a bit of a hard time on this transitional period here. But if I just do this, that means that we're going to run out of food as well. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's basically what happens here. As soon as you start prioritizing things above what they were originally, above a sensible level, you end up taking into your food stocks. And that, that's just bad, yo. Oh, looky, looky. I think we have a self-sustaining uh, system here. It goes all the way up to 39.1. Everything stops because it's full. That's amazing. That's amazing. Okay, so hopefully when these get... Well, in fact, this has been disconnected. Now it should start filling itself up. Now, I know we've got a little light up here, but I think that should be okay. I was talking about how it's got a little bit of extra power, so that should work, hopefully, as long as this does actually get some more hydrogen. There was a lot of actuallys in that sentence there, but I think you actually know what I'm saying. Ooh, this could be disconnected as well. Is that actually over over pressurized it's not hmm i might just destroy these uh pipes because as whilst i do know that the hydrogen is enough to self power i'm not sure if half the hydrogen is enough to self power oh look at that we've gone down to 30 degrees here with 33 in the water that was like 42 when we got started uh so that's pretty cool uh it's, it's still quite hot actually if i if i'm to be honest with you to the point of i can actually tell that there's heat coming through here but, uh, we'll be all right here we'll be all right obviously when this all starts to warm up again five million germs oh my gosh look at that our uh, last one here last one here priority nine and then everything will get turned back on all running off the power here this guy should come along and top us up because he is on half power. That's awesome. Awesome to the max, as they used to say back in the 80s. So the power transformer has just been hooked up and the water is starting to flow again. And of course, we're having extra heat pumped into the system. It makes sense. It definitely makes sense. I'd also like this, this mop to get like done, if at all possible. Thanks. I'm also not sure whether we're going to run out of water. Um, yeah, that, that would be interesting. This is pumping at the same rate that that should be pumping, or at least that, that is the way that it should be working. 
fingers crossed and all of that. But with that, I think I'm going to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure, ladies and gentlemen. Today we went around and tidied up a few things. We found ourselves a new bit of Weasel. Um, in fact, we found another Weasel over there. We've discovered that this biome is a lot bigger than I thought it was. We have ourselves a natural gas generator uh, geyser to deal with. Uh, and we can start thinking about moving on to our thimble reed farm. Now, I was going to put a thimble reed farm in here. It turns out I'm speaking again. I was going to wrap up. Here we go, speaking. I was I'm going to put a thumb thimble reed uh, farm in there, but during some of my testing process, I've realized that it doesn't quite work the way I thought it worked. So I'm going to have to play around with it in a t uh, test world and then do deal with it when I get back. But I will see you then. Oh, when we're going to do that. Bye. Oh, give us a like, yeah.